Typeform to Monday.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically send form submissions from Typeform straight over to your Monday.com system. The principle can be applied to any CRM system, but I'm just using Monday for the purpose of this video. By the way, if you need any help automating, integrating, streamlining your business, check out the link below. We would be delighted to help. Now, as you can see here, I am inside of my Monday.com system and I'm on a quotes for example system demo system, right? And what I want to happen is when a new form submission comes through from type form, it automatically populates into my Monday.com system. Now you're probably wondering, well, why aren't you using Monday.com forms? The simple answer is type forms can be way more aesthetic, um, way more sophisticated conditional logic as well, which is really helpful. So we're going to use time for type forms for the example of this video. Um, and then we can obviously map the data to um, our board or and then create a new item within Monday.com. Now, caveat to all of this, we are going to be using the system Zapier, which is a third party integration tool. If you do not know how to use Zapier, this is not a problem. All you need to do is check out the, the video linked above. And there's detailed instructions on how to get started with Zapier. Um, and then sh hopefully after you've watched that video, you'll be up to speed and type form integration will be a walk in the park. So as you can see, I have got my type form tab at the top here. I've created a new form. I'm going to level with you. This is not the most sophisticated form in the world. And I'm just doing this for the sake and example of this video. But of course, people have very um, sophisticated type forms. I've seen it in the flesh uh, with loads of different, different conditional logics all going to different places dependent on the answers that people provide. Um, we've obviously got like additional options here. Um, but all I'm going to do is go, I'm going to go ahead and I've got this copy link and what I can do is paste this and this is going to be my form. Now I've got a series of questions. They're all a bit random. Um, again, just for the sake of this video, just to give you some context, but um, it all makes sense in a moment's time. So first and foremost, what we need to do um, is we need to head over to Zapier login. Um, I'm in a folder, YouTube demo folder. All you need to do is go to create in the top right hand corner, create a new zap. And then our trigger in this instance is going to be type form. So you just need to search type form as your option. And then if you haven't signed into type form already, all you need to do is just press sign in on the right hand side press connect account you literally just log in using your type form credentials and it's really that easy all sorted um, and then what we're going to do is create a trigger event so there's only one full type form now they actually have really good um api functionality but that is not something that i'm going to cover in this video i was hoping i was going to do something on partial submissions for this video but it turns out it's slightly more complicated and this video will be about five hours long if, <laughs> if i go down that route of doing partial submissions which is a very useful feature in type form but um to get access to that data is slightly more complicated so i'm going to go ahead and press new entry and then i'm going to go ahead and press continue now you don't need to configure anything apart from selecting which form that you're going to be getting the submissions from so if you do have multiple Full forms you are going to need to create a zap per form if that makes sense then we're going to go ahead and press continue and then we just need to test the uh test the trigger so i'm going to go ahead and submit some information um if i can spell correctly uh crmcrew.com um on that form so i'm just going to go ahead and literally complete the form you can see here i've made some random decisions for this form and then last name should work and then i'm going to go ahead and press submit and now I've submitted my type form. Congratulations. Then all I'm going to do is go over to Zapier again and press test trigger. I'm hoping this is then going to magically pull through the information that we've just populated. And as you can see here, email nick at crew.com, first name choice one, last name Boardman, obviously another spelling error. Um, so you've got this as a form response and it kind of breaks it down as one whole text, which is quite interesting. And then we've got it broken down per uh, essentially field or field submission option. So email, first name, last name. We've also got ID, so submission token, submit date and time, and then also time to complete the form in uh, minutes and seconds and hours. I mean, if it's taking someone hours to complete a form, interesting. Um, okay, anyway, so then we've pretty much done it. Like, congratulations, this video is more, more or less over. All you need to do then is press continue with selected record and then write this information to wherever you'd like to write it to. So monday.com, for example. Um, so I'm then going to choose an action. It's going to be create item in board. Um, and then I'm going to select the account that the monday.com system is associated with. So obviously, again, same principle applies. Connect the monday.com or HubSpot or Salesforce system um, to your Zapier, and then you're all good to go. Zapier, and then go ahead and press continue. Write it to the board. So in this instance, it's going to be the quotes board that we have up the top here. So this one here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put item name and I'm going to press the plus button on the right hand side. And then you'll see we've got all of my submission data. So I'm going to go first name, last name. I know this is a terrible example. And then email, I'm going to press plus. I'm going to map to my email as well. And then I'm going to go ahead. And what I probably will do 
is I'm going to just for example's sake, I'm going to write the date information over to let's say submit date to date paid just for example's sake. And then what I'm also going to do is on the quote reference I've got here, which is a free text kind of inside of Monday, I'm actually going to write the, um, the submission ID because this is then becomes referenceable. Now, whether you need to do this or not very much depends on your requirements but as long as you have the id the submission id referenceable inside of your your crm system whether that be monday or anything else you can then look back at it at any point if you ever need to as well so it's quite helpful um and then you can reference it with other things um and it also acts as a unique reference number for that particular lead or for that particular project or whatever that submission was for so then i'm going to go ahead and press continue and i'm going to test the step and then this will write to as you can see give it a moment's time choice one board mark you've got the quote reference number which is extremely long and then you've got the email address as well which is pulled through nicely and then if i scroll across to it might be on the main table actually you can see we've got date paid it automatically pulls in the date and also the time as well that that was that submission took place now the only thing that is missing which is quite interesting is we have the amount of time it took to submit the form now some people might find this data interesting so you've got a obviously time to complete the form in hours minutes seconds like i mentioned one minute and 35 seconds it took or one second and one i don't know to, to complete this form um you could push this over to your CRM system and then get an average of the time it takes to complete a form. I don't know how useful that's going to be, especially in a CRM system. You might as well just keep that in type form and then you'll be able to track the comparisons. Again, does that even matter as long as they're submitting the form? I don't know. I'm not getting into the uh, the, de the, <laughs> the details of it all. Um, but that's literally how it will work. And then all, once you're happy, just go ahead, press continue, press continue, press publish in the top right hand corner. What I would recommend doing is renaming your zap so it's type form um, to mon monday.com quotes and that's it. And then if I go ahead and submit another form, it's just going to automatically populate inside of my monday.com system and any new lead or any new opt in or whatever you're using type form for will automatically go into your CRM system literally like magic and you don't have to look at the type forms and then manually enter in the data into your crm system wherever you'd like it to go now you can add some additional stuff here in these in this process so you could also add them to active campaign or mailchimp you could also send a, an sms or a slack message into the the slack groups or to your team members um so they're notified that let's say a new leads come in or a new lead submission come in or list you could be using type form for onboarding so a new onboarding form completion has been done as well if you need any help automating integrating streamlining your business check out the link below like i said we would love to help you make your business more efficient thank you for watching goodbye